A Jacksonville man is back in jail after pleading guilty to voter fraud. Mark Crump is a convicted felon who was arrested in April and charged with false voter registration and election fraud. Records show he voted in the August 2020 primary and November 2020 general election. News for Jack's reporter Ann Maxwell was in the courtroom this morning and joins us live for the outcome of the case. Ann. Mary Crump had pleaded guilty, and here in the courtroom today, the judge sentenced him to 10 months in the Duval County Jail. He could have gotten up to 10 years. Mark Crump appearing briefly in court today where he learned he'll be spending less than a year in jail. The crime, submitting false voter registration information, and willingly voted when he wasn't qualified. These voter fraud convictions add two more felonies to his record. Crump was convicted of manslaughter in Alachua County in 1993. Eleven years later, he was convicted of molesting a child, also in Alachua County. Crump previously told News for Jax he received a voter registration card in the mail and assumed that under Amendment 4, which granted felons in Florida the right to vote under certain conditions, he was able to cast a ballot. Neil Voles is part of the organization that helped pass Amendment 4. What we're seeing is we've seen a, a massive increase in voter participation uh, as returning citizens, people with past convictions, uh, engage the political process. But he says at the same time, Florida has a confusing and inadequate system for making sure people who register to vote are eligible. We've got a system in which we're spending taxpayer dollars to uh, provide to law enforcement and the courts and, and, and prosecuting people rather than fixing the system on the front end. According to Crump's arrest report, he received a letter saying he didn't have the right to vote months after he received the voter registration card in the mail. For someone who has completed their felony sentence to be eligible to vote again under Amendment 4, they must have completed all terms of their sentence, including probation and parole, paid all fines, fees, costs, and restitution, and not been convicted of murder or sexual offenses. However, Crump had been convicted of a sexual offense. The supervisor of elections also said Crump lied about being a convicted felon when he registered to vote. The SOE said cases like this are extremely rare here in Duval County. The last one he remembers involving a convicted felon voting happened six or seven years ago. Live downtown and Maxwell Channel 4, the local station.